Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante. We're here at the Hack Reduce launch with the founder, the visionary, uh, uh, the the partner in crime of, of Chris Lynch, Fred Lalonde of Hopper. Fred, thanks for coming and spending a little bit of time with us. Thanks for coming over. So I really enjoyed your remarks up front. Talk, tell us the story about you were walking around the halls of MIT talking to the young people. Share that with our audience. Absolutely. So. First off, we're Canadians, so we moved our company here in Boston last year, and obviously, like everybody, we need to recruit talent. Um, naturally, knowing nothing about Boston or the MIT, my co-founder and I started walking around asking the kids, when you have a big data idea, where do you go to try it out? You know, Google has certainly given you 100,000 computers. The MIT must have an open lab. Our thought, of course, is we'll go hang out there. Um, and th they were looking at us like we were, well, from Canada and we're outer space. And they said, we don't have a place to do that. And that makes no sense to me. Given the history of this town in computer science, that there was no place where you could experiment with big data for free made no sense. And we decided to do something about it. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, I've witnessed for years just a, uh, uh, an exodus to California, and, and I think that it feels like that's changing. There's a real epicenter now of big data in Cambridge. Do you, do you see that? Absolutely. The last time I was here was around 2003, and Cambridge was almost dead. All of the VCs were locked up in Waltham. Um, the city is completely transformed. You can tell every coffee shop there's a term sheet now. Um, I don't think the Valley, apart from maybe sheer size, has a lot um, up on Cambridge right now. And in big data, the, the big data problems this town is designed to solve. The people that live and work here are genetically engineered to be compatible with big data problems. Now, Fred, talk about why that is. Is that a system-level expertise, uh, end-to-end -end vision? What's the skill set there? Well, again, I'm Canadian, but part of it's cultural. The Valley is a lot about social media, a lot about mobile, and that's fine. I mean, I get Angry Birds. I've played it like everybody else. But big data is different because you have to solve hard, hard problems. And of course, there's Google and Stanford out there, but you need people that think that, you know, Know, solving vertex graph labeling is cool and fun, and they would rather do that than build a mobile app. And this town is full of those people. So talk about hard problems. Hopper is, is solving some hard problems. What can you tell us about Hopper and where you guys are at? So we, we're, we're a travel startup, um, but we're a, kind of a strange animal because we're applying big data to solve and disrupt the consumer industry. We're not building a platform or analytics. Um, and what we believe at Hopper is that travel's broken because it's incredibly unpleasant to plan a trip. And what we're doing is applying big data to actually build a catalog of all of the travel information. And I don't just mean flights and hotels. We have all of that. But hiking trails and golf courses and kid-friendly beaches and places you can go with your dog so that you can actually instantly pick it and research things like you can do in, re in finance and in music. Um, and it's been an incredible challenge building that, and we believe that we're in the right town to do it. Yeah, mark my words, folks. Hopper is going to completely transform the way in which you plan a trip, interact with the entire travel industry. So I can't wait till you guys launch. Thanks. All right, listen, appreciate you spending some time with us. Good to see you. Congratulations on Hackerdoo. Thanks a lot. All right, keep it right there. We'll be right back with our next guest.